hello guys good evening welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you how to migrate a lambda function from the existing source account to a new different account so we need a lambda function here and with using of iam user with the python boto3 client or source code we will uh, migrate a, a aws lambda function from the source account to the target account so i will use a iam user in the source account and i will use a two iam roles in the target account so i am going to use a python boto3 client which will fetch the codes and all everything it will migrate from source to destination account so let's get back to the console and achieve this so this is my source account and let me log into the lambda and in the existing source account there is no lambda functions right now so let me create a function so i'll name it as test function i'll go with the python 3.9 and that's it function name create a function It's very simple to create a lambda function. Whether you need to choose your runtime and uh, with the Python or Golang or Node.js, you need to check that, and you can create a function easily. So my function is about to create, and it has been successfully created. You can see here the code is hello from lambda. So if you execute this, you you can get the same output as can see here a uh, test event and save it and click on test we'll get some output as hello from lambda so this is the same output you need to get into the destination account without doing anything or creating a lambda function so here i will use a im role in the source account i am user so to generate access key and secret key Let me create an user. Test user. So I'll go with a programmatic access. Next. And you need to attach uh, admin access for this role. I am role. I am user. And create user. And cop uh, save the access keys and secret. So we have done it. Uh, we have created an IAM user in the source account, and we need to go and jump onto the destination account. And you need to create two IAM roles for this. So let me go back to the IAM in the destination account. So if you can see here, there is no Lambda functions in my destination account, which is in the same Mumbai region. So I am migrating in the same Mumbai region only. So let me create two roles. First of all, you need to create a role for the AWS account that uh, source account need to access. So click on AWS account, trusted entity type, and you need to choose another AWS account and you need to give the account ID of the source account, copy this account ID and give it here. So that's it. Click on next. So you need to attach a policy like uh, lambda full access for this account role. So type lambda. You will get lambda full access permission policy. So you can see here lambda full access. It will grant all the services to be uh, booted up and it will grant full access to the lambda services or related AWS services. To this account ID. And I'll give as AWS Control. Copy this and give it in the description and create a role. So the account role has been created, and you need to create a Lambda IAM role which allows L AWS Lambda execute permissions for that IAM role to create the existing from 
uh, lambda from the source account to destination account. So create one more rule. Click on use cases as lambda and click on next. And you need to type AWS Lambda. Type Lambda. You can see here, you can, it is saying that AWS Lambda execute permissions. It will provide put get access to S3 and full access to Cloud Workflows. So you need to execute this role. Attach this role to the IAM role. Click on next. it as a name uh, I'll give us AWS lambda role remove alphanumeric characters and create rule so that's it uh, we have created one AWS account role and AWS lambda role so we need these two ARNs for in the uh, code. So before that, I need to install a Lambda, uh, sorry, Python three in my uh, local computer. So let me download and install the Python three point nine point thirteen in my local computer. So before that, you need to uh, make sure that add Python three point nine to path. So it will create a path to your environment variables. So it will ask for yes. You need to click yes. And the setup is in progress. So in this AWS architecture diagram, you can see that we have created an IAM user in the source account and we have created two IAM roles in the target account and we have created a Lambda function in the source account. So this Lambda function need to be migrated using IAM user with the access key and secret key with uh, Python Boto3 client using the source code and with the two IAM roles it will deploy as it is whatever it is in the source account the lambda function so it will deploy the existing lambda function from the source account to the destination account so let me check the installation Okay, the setup was successful. I have a code written in Python 3. Let me cancel this. It has been already done. So this is my Lambda Python Boto3 client using a Lambda source code. So let me open in a Visual Studio. So this is the source code of lambda.py and you can get the interpreter also here. So you need to give the lambda role which we have enabled in the destination account for the lambda account role. So you need to copy the ARN here. So go to the destination account. For the account role you need to copy the ARN and paste it here. So the AWS account role has been given the ARN and you need to give the ARN of the Lambda role that has only execute permission. So this is the ARN of the Lambda role which is having only AWS Lambda execute permission. So copy this and paste it here. So this is the Python code which allows uh, access keys and secret keys from the source account and it will go to the uh, it will give full permission from the source account with AWS account role and it will execute the AWS role into the from taking the source account code and to the destination account it will using the Python Boto3 client so if you see here it is asking for AP South 1 I am going in the AP South 1 only Mumbai region so before that you need to configure your access keys and secret keys in your AWS CLI so go to your local computer AWS CLI and Type AWS configure. So I have defaultly some access keys and secret keys are there. So I need to remove those and I need to uh, give my these credentials which I have created a user in the source account. 
so these are my access keys and secret keys for the source account so i need to copy this again type aws configure it will ask for your access key and you can replace this and copy the secret key and paste it here and you can go for default region episode and default dot format as json so it has been done so access keys and secret keys has been configured and you need to go into the function and we have done all the same configuration and you need to run this python code run without debugging so it will open a terminal If you can see here the file has been downloaded test function and it has been downloaded to my local computer and that a file it has been re-uploaded to the destination account so this is happening in the back end so it will download here one file and it will upload this uh, replace this file into the destination account of lambda so if you refresh here the lambda function will be appeared so this is where the using bot or three client and with i am user and i am roles in the target account and source account copying from the aws lambda existing function from the source account to the target account so this is guys so where we can get the lambda function without doing manual intervention and using automation work so let me go to the test function and try to test my function you can give any name event names it's not mandatory to give uh, the same name which is in the source account so click on save so click on test check the same output which you have got in the source account and you can match the same so if you see here status code 200 hello from lambda so the same code has been appeared and it is migrated to the destination account also so this is where we can use I am lambda I am roles we are using I am roles and we can transfer we can migrate lambda functions from one account to different account using python bot or client a uh, python interpreter and using a python code and using access keys and secret keys all these functions so uh, that's it guys thanks for watching my video please do like share and subscribe for more videos let me know if you have any queries please post in the comment box thank you